and welcome back. So we did have a lot of sunshine once again across the region today. That strong southerly flow to get temperatures up there well above where we should be this time of year. Average highs are about to fall into the lower 80s as we're uh, approaching mid-September and we're still well above that at 94 degrees. Wind south around 14 miles per hour. Two point really not that bad at 49 degrees. So not a lot of humidity out there. Uh, current temperatures look like this at 89 at Broken Bow in Lexington, but out toward Ogallala at 98 degrees, 94 at Thedford, 102 at Valentine and uh, 97 out toward Hyannis. So the heat is really into the northern portion of our viewing area. There's your winds mainly from a southerly direction. No, uh, really no easterly component today. So that's why we're so warm. Uh, wind speeds right now 10 to 20 miles per hour. Now, as for what we're seeing on our national maps, now we had one high pressure system that was in charge over the weekend. All the lows and the moisture are missing us well off to the south and to the east. We have another one over the northeast giving them a lot of rain. But this high pressure system is going to be our weather story as we make our way through the next couple of days. Lots of sunshine from it as it moves off to the east. We have a, an even stronger southerly wind and we're going to keep the uh, sunshine and the really hot air as we make our way through Thursday. So here's a look at uh, what is now becoming a dangerous heat wave once again. This continues our trend from last week. That ridge in the jet stream still north of Edmonton. The Pacific Northwest doing okay now, but now the heat is spread into California, uh, out toward Las Vegas and even Arizona as this high pressure system moves off to the east. So we're getting to the point where we're challenging all time record highs for this time of year and the highs 15 to 30 degrees above average with the uh, high fire danger and the droughts worsening. Now, let's take a look at our records in danger uh, for the day tomorrow. Forecast at 101, the record's 103. For Wednesday, forecast at 99, the record's 102. But the best day uh, we have uh, the possibility of breaking a record in North Platte is on Thursday. We're forecasting 103. We have sunshine and an even stronger southerly flow ahead of a cold front. The record's only 101. So we're going to keep our eyes on that one. We're going to be close to, I think we get, we break probably one of those records over the next three days. Now, there's your wind mainly from a southerly direction tonight. Temperatures staying on the mild side, falling quickly through the 80s into the 70s by around the 11 p.m. hour. And then as we make our way through the day on Tuesday, starting off into the upper 50s, which is still mild for this time of year, should have lows near Near 50. There's your highs close to 100 degrees for Tuesday. Still a lot of sunshine and that strong southerly wind. For the day on Wednesday, starting off into the mid to upper 50s, lots of sunshine. And then for the day on Wednesday, temperatures once again into the mid 90s into our eastern counties and back to near 100 from North Platten Point, so off to the west. So let's take a look at what this looks like on our wide maps. This high pressure system does eventually crest over us. That's why we do have a lot of sunshine. It moves off to the east and then it sets up a much stronger southerly flow. Wednesday and into Thursday, when we could break those records, uh, warm front to our north. But this cold front is really going to change things. We do have a chance of moisture as we approach the weekend and a strong uh, wind from a northwesterly direction. So we're finally going to get back to below average temperatures. So here's how it looks. We're going to stay near that 100 degree mark over the next three days. Lots of sunshine, a little breezy on Thursday. That southerly wind will make it our warmest day. But Friday's high only 80. We do have partly to mostly cloudy skies. Chances some showers, maybe a rumble of thunder through Saturday morning and Saturday's high only 71. Back to near 80 with sunshine on Sunday and up to 88 again on Monday with partly cloudy skies. Kent. And those hot temperatures, those are temperatures we don't, uh, records we don't really want to break at this point. Yeah, it's getting uh, late in the year to be this hot. All right. Thanks so much, Justin. And coming up next, Husker coaches and players are talking about the performance this past weekend of both the football and volleyball teams. News 2's Kelsey Wilkinson has more in sports after the break. Don't get left in the dark. 